Yo, hi guys, welcome back. Thank you very much for joining in again. This is obviously my Vera tool bag and uh, tool case overall guide, really, what's an electrician's tool bag. Uh, first, I want to say thank you very much to my patrons that joined my Patreon. I set it up a couple of weeks ago. Uh, the plan behind this is why have I set one up? Um, I've seen a few other guys that have set one up before. I always wondered what it was for. Uh, I've just been to a few guys. It helps me just create a little bit more content. Um, obviously, we know for being an electrician, the money we lose from filming YouTube videos and the time doesn't equivalent to how much time we lost on site. If that's what, you know what I mean. So what I'm trying to get at is I can buy better equipment, get some more footage, spend more time doing it while I'm still earning my actual wage. Uh, and it's just helped to progress the channel a little bit and uh, and help me out. Just I want to keep pushing stuff. I want to keep growing. So that's the idea behind it. Anyway, back to the bags. So I've had my Vera to go bag for. Phew, couple of months now. Uh, the idea behind it was I was using, like we've seen in my previous videos before, Sunny Fat Max toe bag, various other toolboxes that you've probably never seen on the videos, that's my old ones. I wanted a bag that I could have everything in, but then like this one is modular, so you've got your textile boxes that stick to the front, you've got the Velcro, it's a nice rigid one. I wanted a closed one because I get a lot of moisture in the roof of my van, I drips down, like I said in other videos and it creates rust on all my new tools, which isn't good. So I'll just run you through across this one. So this is the XL bag. Uh, this is what I use with my first fixed tools, my hammers, my chisels. I will go into more depth with it, but I'm just gonna do a brief overview. This is my, what I call bag one. Um, this has got all my second fixed tools, my cutters, my um, pliers, my strippers, my small screwdrivers, my long screwdrivers, my spanners, my ratchets, um, keys, all that sort of stuff. This is my testing bag. So this is the same size as my bag one. Testing bag with my mega ring, with my continuity tester, with my stickers, with my fuse wire, plug socket tester. On the side of this, I've got a uh, VDE um, screwdriver set, a detachable one, so we can do fuse boards, so a bit of testing. And then on the side here, just a little spanner set. And then this is the apprentice bag. So it's the same size as these two. Uh, this is the one I got for Adam with the VDE screwdriver set and a few bits and bobs inside. And I left the little dummy on for good measure so we know Adam's bag is this one. So, my idea with the video, my plan is I'm gonna make a couple of videos out of these. So I'll go into in great depth throughout the tools of what I've got, what I find really useful, what I like, how it helps me work easier. Um, so I'll get rid of all the other bags. We'll concentrate on this bag right now and then uh, sort of pick out a little bit and we'll go through some key factors. Right, so into bag one. So I got this from Toolmania and this is designed as an electrician's to-go bag. Uh, so these are the TM to-go bags. So you've got your normal um, toolbox container, which is obviously your normal hard shell case um, with the Velcro attachments around the side. This is what it comes with. So what I'll do, I'll leave a link in the description for this set you can buy, what everything comes with it. I've got most of the stuff on it that it came with, a few things have been put into other bags or a Velcro on the inside of my van. Um, but I've just sort of put the main majority together for this video so you can see what's going on. Um, so from what my knowledge with these bags, this was made by tradesmen for tradesmen. Um, so they've got the uses, the practicality of getting in and out of the van. And this is what really drew my eye with them to start with is the Velcro and the boxes on the outside. So I wanted a sealed one. It's um, it's waterproof on the top, obviously it's not waterproof submergible, but um, it's, it can be wiped off and cleaned. This is what I found for this video, especially I've hoovered and wet wiped all the, the bags out to make it a bit more presentable for you guys, obviously working in dusty environments. And um, they clean off really well. Wipe really well, wet wipes, hoover on the inside, uh, very easy to clean. I like to keep clean tools, especially when you're bringing them in out of people's houses or your van, or like I do, I take my tools in, out, in my van, out of my van every night, and they're left most of the time in my kitchen, where obviously we're walking past and the kids are walking. So this is why I also like them to start with. Second thing is obviously the Velcro. So you've got the textile boxes on the front. Camera two. So the textile box is on the front uh, with the Velcro attached. The Velcro, I mean, the, you'll hear me in a minute, it's going to be very noisy. The Velcro on the front and all the way around is very, very difficult to, to use to start with. But this is a good thing. You don't want any flimsy Velcro that's going to rip and then obviously not short and collect dust. This has been well used now for two months. And I mean well used. And still the Velcro is very sticky. Same with the main one on there. So you've got it on the front, on the sides, and on the back. So I'll go, oh, how shall I break this down? Let's start with the main container. So the main tool container. Okay, so you've got the flappy lid. You've also Velcro on the inside. I'll just take this one off for the time being. 
So with this as well, once this is off, if you want to take it off, is this actually Velcro's down. So that leaves you access to your tool carriers. These are your quivers. These also have a Velcro on it. So if you wanted these sat on the outside of there, you can stick them on the outside to the sides if you have three or four of these with different attachments in. I've put this together sort of how I use it. I wanted to do a video after using it for a long period of time. I had a system, I knew what I was doing with it, and I could put that across in a video to you guys so you can understand of this is how this works for me. It would be completely different for other people, I understand. Uh, best thing when you can buy these textile boxes also is they come with um, a, separable, a separate sticky back Velcro pad. So I've got some of these actually stuck onto the inside of my van. So when I've got a little screwdriver set, I can put that on the inside, or my micro precision screwdriver set. This is sort of like um, uh, PC components, alarm panels, that sort of stuff. So this can just Velcro out the way if I don't want to take that in with the whole bag. Okay, so what I'll do to start with, I'm going to separate the bag up into its main container and the two textile boxes and the different pouches got stuck on the back and then we'll put it together and you can see the sort of system I'm working with. Right, so as it stands, this is the main container. Uh, what I keep in here, I've got tape on the side and I've also got the Nipex uh, key. I think this is 10 keys in one, so this is great for meter boxes. Um, I just leave that attached on the side. This goes with me pretty much wherever I go in the van. It's come in useful several times for different, obviously, meter boxes, internal ones, external ones, ones in garages. Um, it's a great piece of kit to have. That comes with the bag. Uh, let's go inside to start with. So you've got two quivers. One quiver I've got with my VDE screwdrivers, uh, the other one with the different attachments. Got it with a variety of different selection of tools. So we've got two pairs of grips, snipe nose pliers, pliers, uh, the six in one cutters. Uh, they are called the cable shears. And then we've got uh, crimps, Apex cable strippers, and obviously two different selection of grips. So the strippers, the crimps, the two um, pliers, they are Nipex, the rest is Vera. So in here as well, oh, we've got a little cheeky uh, this is the self-adjusting 10 to 13 mil spanner that I recently bought, add to the collection. So what this does, this automatically grips onto something and as you tighten it. But once again, I will do a separate video, go through all the tools individually and what they're good for. Um, normal VDE screwdriver set. These have got the laser tip ends. So they help you grip the screws a lot, lot, lot more uh, with less effort from yourself. So it drives a lot better than other screws I've used. They've got the soft shell in between and the hard exterior. Uh, they sit in the hand really well. So I rate them. I've had very, well, a hell of a lot of different type of uh, screwdrivers in the past, gone through them all. And so far, these are the ones I've rated the most. Um, I've looked after them, I clean them. Um, they, most of the time they go back in here. If not, they sit in my work trouser pocket. So, and one thing I've never really used, which I have used a lot, normally I use a Stanley knife, but this set comes with the VDE knife. And me thinking it's not gonna be very sharp, it's extremely sharp, and I've used it on several occasions, just to have a big firm handle and a hard grip like that, to be able to use it instead of my Stanley, which is a small one, where you always, and I've done it a few times where I've actually snapped the blade and it's spun around hit me in the finger. So, I like that, I didn't think I would, I did. And then on top of it, you've got the, the VDE torque screwdriver. So with this set, this is a optional extra, I think, I need to double check that. But with using this one, I had two other ones previous before. One, first one I lost, second one I bought um, fairly recently-ish, a couple of years ago. Um, but this is the only one that comes with just the one attachment, to my knowledge. So you just put your normal screwdriver bit in the end, or your, your fuse board one that I would use, the MCB one, RCDO, RCDO? your MCB or your breakable uh, screwdriver set. Um, and then it literally slots down, you twist it to the correct torque setting, it's all built in one. The other ones, you've got a feeder rod in it, twist it, sets the right torque setting. So I really, really do like that, it's rated really, really well. Uh, sits nicely in the hand and it's really long as well. I don't know if the other, my other one wasn't this long, but it just helps a bit more of a reach. So that's the set that goes inside. Inside here, you've got hard case, waterproof, um, easy wipeable, like I said, and it's got two elastic on the inside. Well, you can see this, elastic straps either side, just to hang stuff in. If you don't want both quivers in, you can put one in and stick some hand tools in there, or a hammer, that sort of stuff. Uh, to the outside of the bag, so if I lift the flat back up. So first of all, like I said, I should have said this at the beginning, 
they're smart looking, they look good. Um, a bit of a professional look when you walk in. So I've had quite a few nice comments from customers before saying how well these look and professional. Uh, not that I'm dissing any other tool bag. I've had other tool bags, you've seen them on the channel. I really like them all. Obviously they're all made to fill a purpose. The other ones are made for individual slotted ones so you can have your screwdrivers, everything organized well. Which is good, but I always get fed up of putting them back in the same place or miss something or that's the way it goes with me. So I've found out this system works really well. I can just drop my screwdrivers in one side. I can see what they are from the top. I know what I've got in here. Right, so onto the textile boxes. So you can obviously get the different types. You get the tall ones, the long ones, the deep ones, or the wraps. Um, the idea behind this is what I found. It's easier for getting tools on and off the van or selected type for easy portability of tools in and out houses. So if I know I'm doing a boiler repair, I would select a certain type of tool. If I know I've got to use my long screwdriver set, I can just take the long screwdriver set out, um, Velcro straight off. Or another thing that they thought of, which is really clever cool. So this is just a double sided Velcro pad with a handle. So what I use this for is this sticks to the back of TM bag one and sticks onto my back of my testing bag. So when I'm going into a job, I can carry my testing bag and my bag one together. But then this also comes in handy for other things. So if I know I want to take in the front of this, it's got my Allen keys in. You would literally Velcro that to that. And I want a spanner ratchet set. That will Velcro to that. That turns into a carrier. This is actually a five piece carrier that you can open it up to. Um, so like you say, the portability of getting tools in and out of the van, organized and stuff. I uh, say I use the carrier mainly for taking two bags at the same time. Um, the only one that doesn't have the XL bag doesn't have the Velcro on the back because it's such a big bag itself. I think once you filled it up, you would struggle to pick the weight up with other things attached. Um, so hard cases, we've done the Velcro, we've done that. So I'll sort of run through what comes in the bag. So we've already seen what's in the bag here. You get a set of the long screwdrivers, which are again, laser tipped, like I said with the VDE ones. And in here as well, you also get the flexi screwdriver. That's come in handy once or twice. Obviously you just put your screwdriver attachment at the end. But that will get you out of a few situations. One of those tools that you'll own, you'll only ever use a couple of times, but when you do, it's worth its weight in gold. So what I'll do, I'll stick that one back on, get that in the system. Uh, second thing, let's go for the Joker Spanner set. So you've obviously seen in there, we've got the self-adjusting one, which I'm still yet to use. I've tried a little bit at home. Obviously we're in lockdown, so it's very difficult to actually go and use it on a job. So what you've got, is the uh, the joker set so you've got the the 10 mil the 13 mil the 17 mil and the 19 mil most of the time if i'm perfectly honest being a domestic electrician the 17 and the 19 mil are pretty unused these two are more uh, that's why i wanted to sort of figure out what i want to do with the self-adjusting spanner and see how that works itself this is one of the tools that most of the time is velcroed on the inside of my van. It's not taken into with me with jobs because it's just not needed in a domestic situation. It's exactly the same with, with these. So this is the Craftform Micro Big Pack screwdriver set. So I've used these a couple of times and it actually helped me fix my, uh, my daughter's iPhone, uh, iPhone, iPad the other week. So in there you've got the whole ranges throughout to have uh, spay bits, hex bits, flat bits, um, Phillips bits, loads of bits and bobs that most of the time I wouldn't get used for. I don't do a lot of fire alarm panels or any sort of maintenance on circuit boards, that sort of stuff where this sort of thing would come in very useful. Great to have on the van, great to have at home um, for the one or two times you need it. But for the stuff I do, I've not found a massive use for it, but to the other guys that do commercial stuff and do the three-phase stuff and data, very good for data cabling and stuff, this will come in really useful. So, that goes on the side there. Uh, Joker set, I will stick on the top for the time being. I'm gonna stick my carry pad back to the back. It was on that yay, easy peasy. Uh, do that one last, so. The next one I'm gonna show you is the, uh, the Vera extendable bit carrying screwdriver. So with this, obviously you've got the extendable shaft that comes out, so bang. Bang, got all these bits in there. I'm not gonna run through this too much. Like I said, I'll do that in a different video. I'm just sort of showing you the main overview of what comes in this bag. That comes with its own little Velcro pouch, pouch, pouch. Uh, you can put it on your belt if you really wanted to, uh, but it's got the Velcro on the back. 
that's why I've been sticking it sort of on the inside of the bag out of the way. But I would sort of use this for quoting, so little screwdriver in your pocket that's got several attachments. Good little thing. Next thing is, uh, this is the ratchet set. So this is one of the things where you look at Vera, this is where Vera sort of stands out from the crowd in my eyes, um, with the locking system of each bit. So twist, locks back in place. Uh, you've got the flexi attachment, uh, the three, uh, 180 I think it is, I'll be on the screen if I'm wrong, uh, atta uh, swivel ball at the top that does the um, your ratchets, your screws, your attachments, uh, your bolts, your nuts. Um, I've used this quite a few times for fuse boards, obviously when we're putting on and off the earth uh, lug for the board uh, cover. Great piece of kit, I'll go through it properly again like I said and just sort of do a brief overview. One thing I will mention actually with these is so this is what I was going at the other day. When I've had sets like this before from other brands, I always end up, these always end up coming loose and falling out. But when these are sealed, obviously you've got these flappy edges and it's a hard case once it's shut. If anything comes out, it doesn't fall out of the bag and lose it. Because it drives me insane when you've got a nice full set like this and you start losing bits, it drives me absolute crackers. Could have said a different word, I didn't. Right, let's go into the textile box. So this is the front pouch that you get for the front. Ooh. So here we've got a variety of different things and this is sort of the, the little goodie bag at the front uh, that comes in most useful. One thing Adam didn't have a clue with is the magnetizer and demagnetizer from Vera. So that's really handy for the end of screwdrivers if they're starting to lose their uh, magne magnetism a little bit. Uh, run that over or likewise if you want to magnetize the end of your uh, Allen key set, this, that and the other. Let's just scrape it across. Bing, bada, boom, boom, boom. This one's the L keys. So you've got your hexagon and your torque. Um, both fantastic pieces of kit. Nice to grip, comes in a nice holder. Um, I've used both of these several times for ovens or for control panels and various bits and bobs. You guys, electricians, you know exactly what I'm about. Um, great pieces of kit, nicely identifiable, identifiable by the colour <laughs> on the shafts. And to my knowledge, the colours you've got in here, they'll be duplicated across in. Oh, sort of your bit holder here, where the orange one is the same size as the orange hex bit in there, or the um, torque bit, sorry. Um, so yeah, that's what the colours are for. They all match across into all the tools, so they're all the same size. So if you start going with fuse boards and you know it's, let's say the orange bit in here, and you want the, the Allen key one, you just know it's the orange one without looking at all the, uh, the numbers. So that's a cool little quirky thing. Uh, key belt features with these, I'll just do a brief overview. Um, on the end, you've got a little ball that is a self holder for any screws and then um, holds it in place, which is a key bonus. I don't think any other Allen key set or torque set do that. Um, that's going to be really handy for me for quite a few times because when you're trying to tight spaces and you're trying to get, you can't get both hands in to hold the screw or the nut or whatever it is at the same time. It's a self holding one, it screws it in place. Quite a few of the guys that I've got on Instagram have got these. Highly rate them, great piece of kit. Stubby screwdriver, little attachment. Everyone needs one of them every now and then. And then to one of my favorite pieces of kit is the Tool Check Plus. So a few guys, I'm actually missing the screwdriver attachment. It's actually in my drill at the moment. So this is just next level for a little ratchet. The power behind that, you can put in that. And obviously just the look, it's sleek anyway. Um, that fits in the top. Like I said, I'll run through it another time. This brief overview. Like I said, the colors come in, you've got a screwdriver set, uh, you've got the ratchet, you've got a mini stubby screwdriver on the side. Just to have one of these in there, like I said, if you are if you don't wanna get the big set out and you don't wanna take it all in, you can literally just take this little pouch in if you're just doing an oven, straight in. It's got some cutters, you've got the Nipex cable uh, stripper. That'll go in there. Um, it's just all about figuring out and building what works for you and what works best. And yeah, so so far this system has worked perfectly for me. I figured out what I want to do, how it works. I've added to the kit, that's so why I've got the other attachments and other bags. And it's just helped me grow. And the whole purpose of this is to make your life easier. It's to make your day fly, go quicker. So you've got a tidy van, you can come out, you know exactly where your tools are. If you're doing this job, well, I need this bag. If you're doing this job, I need this bag. To tidy it all up at the end, you know exactly where it goes. You know if you're missing something, clearly. Um, I'm actually missing my Nipex scissors that, sorry, my Nipex scissors that go on the side, they've fallen off somewhere and I can't find them. 
So they were cool. They're really sharp. They were good for labels and whatnot for your fuse boards. Uh, next one is the impact bit set for your impact driver. So it's quite self-explanatory. I'll go through it in more detail. So as it sort of all comes together, like you can see what I'm doing now is I've got my set. I'll just bang that on the back. Got my textile box at the front. That's on. Ratchet set. That's on. And then that's on there. It folds in. So that now is all attached. And it's not too heavy for this one. Um, nice firm handle. You've got your D-rings on the side. This can be detached if you wanted to, if you just want to use the shoulder strap, which is here. Nice comfy shoulder strap would likewise if you wanted to detach that and just use the handle one you can do both i just have both on because sometimes if i carry the bag by itself it's on the shoulder if it's connected to my back testing bag i just use both the handles here so that's sort of what i do with this bag it's helped me out a lot it's neat it's organized it's easy to clean i know where my stuff is it's not overly organized where everything's got its exact section um because that does drive me insane it works for some people doesn't work for me each to their own um so with this bag, the whole purpose of the TM to go is build for portability for you to be personalised the bag as much as you want to, to figure out what you want to do when you go into work, in and out of different jobs. So for me, it works great. I absolutely love it. It looks smart. It does exactly what I need it to do. And every time a new tool comes out, I can then buy that, stick the attachment on the side, figure out, get another bag. This is what I've done with the other bags. I've brought them on top to put my other attachments to that helped me make my day go easier because the quicker I get back to work, back from work with ease, the happier I am. Well, I'm happy my other half is anyway. So I'm done with this one. I'll run you through my tester bag. Right onto my testing bag. So unlike the electricians to go bag from Tool Maniac, uh, that's a purpose set tool bag for electricians as it comes as a kit. So I wanted to expand out with the Vera product. So I brought this bag and turned it into my own testing bag. Um, I had a hard shell case before for my mega tester. Um, it was a little bit clunky. I didn't like it. It was very annoying because the hard hard shell plastic ones that they come with are just naff. I know there's a few different types they brought out now, but I had like a blue hard case. Didn't like it. Wanted to improve it. I wanted to put some stuff extra. So when I'm testing, I've got everything with me instead of bringing four or five different things out of the van. So this is the purpose of this So this is the same size to go bag as the test bag, uh, sorry, as my electrician's to go bag with the textile pocket at the front. Um, so one thing I didn't mention on that bag, this comes with it. So, so it's the Craftform, Craftform VDE kit. So you've got the six in one uh, pliers, cutters, crimpers, cable strippers, all that sort of stuff, uh, two handles, and obviously all these screwdriver bits. So this goes really well. So obviously that's meant to be attached to the to-go bag, but I put it on my testing bag because I find this really good and compact. And on here I've got a small screwdriver and spanner set um, that comes in useful. So what on here, the idea behind this was is if I'm doing an AICR or I'm doing fault finding on a fuse board or just anything that's really anything to do with testing or fuse boards, you're gonna need your screwdriver set, you're gonna need some sort of socket set, depending on what type of board it is, um, and you're gonna need some sticks and labels or some fuse wire, let's be honest. So this is, this is why I wanted to put it all together. So inside, what we would normally have is our locking off kit in here, but it's still in the van. So I've got my mega earth clamp meter, and if I open this open, open this open, so if we open the front flap, what we've got is two more. So we open this up, we've got one quiver in here, which I, contains my uh, test leads, all for the, the Mega itself. And then we've got the through crocodile clips as well for testing the leads out and also testing our R1 and R2. Uh, Mega sits quite comfortably in the side. So I've got the MF1711. Uh, Have a sticker on it? Oh, twice. Uh, so that fits quite comfortably in there. Like you say, you've got a Velcro, a Velcro, you've got an elasticated strap in there if you want to put anything in there. But what I find with this tester in it, with the um, shoulder strap, earth clamp meter, and I quite easily get in my uh, locking off kit in there. So it's all contained within one bag. Loads of space and say it's a hard shell case. It gets dropped, it's going to be protected and it's water resistant on the top. You've got your BDE set on the front. You've got your bits set on the back and then into our textile box at the front. 
So we've got continuity testers, we've got a socket tester, a couple of labels here and there, we've got some fuse wire. So I find this really, really useful because there's not many products out there for testing bags that you can sort of personalize yourself because everyone tests differently, everyone's got different stuff that they carry and uses a different type of method where this you can build it yourself. So this was the theory behind me sort of putting this together. And once again, like that one, you can velcro them back, stick it back, carry them together, carry four if you want to. I just, it makes life easier. Like I really enjoy using it. They look good as well, sat in the van. And like I said, once again, bringing them out in and out of the van every night is a bit of a doddle. So that's another one. I will briefly, very briefly, just running around the outside of the XL bag Both on. Right, so last but not least, this is the XL bag. So it's substantially quite a lot bigger than the normal to go bag. Um, key feature of this is I wanted a bigger bag. I wanted to be able to put my first fix tools in, my chisels, my old screwdrivers, my hammers, um, tape measures, uh, armor slice, all that sort of stuff where it wouldn't fit in a normal bag. I wanted to keep the same sort of modular system where I can still attach stuff to the front. That's why we've got a textile box in the front. Have a look inside, it's literally mask, chisels, hammer, that sort of stuff. We've got three quivers in here, so they can be removed. Uh, I do fit a little level in there as well. Obviously you've got the Velcro, exactly the same, so you can leave it open. Uh, same thing, one strap, two strap, Velcro on the side. Like I did say before, is that there's no Velcro on the back, which makes sense because you're not gonna Velcro two of these bags together because they're gonna be extremely heavy. Uh, I got a modular one for the front and that, all I keep in there is literally loads and loads of drill bits, and markers, and hole saws, stuff that I don't really want to have a place with, but at the same time, it's attached to the first bag, and now have everything in one place. Um, so yeah, it's working great. Right, so now on to last but not least, I'm not sure if I said that with the XL bag, but this is the apprentice bag. So the whole idea behind this one uh, for Adam, it's obviously aimed at apprentices. Um, Tool Maniac turned around and said, we want to do a bag that will be affordable uh, to get apprentices a nice bit of kit that's going to last them uh, to get them on the almost the ladder of a nice tool set, uh, which is what these are. So what that contains is a few nice things. Uh, what you can see at the front, you've got the VDE set, you've got the bag. Uh, there's a few more things on the inside, but that's gonna be on a different video. Um, so this is sort of rounded off nicely. I showed you my four bags. I showed you how I use them. I showed you the modular systems, um, how it's helped me work quicker, more efficiently throughout my work day. Uh, been able to position stuff in my van, uh, take in and out of people's houses, what I need for the certain type of jobs. And it's worked out really, really well. Uh, last thing I want to mention is from speaking to uh, Tool Maniac is where I purchase my bags from. They do something that I think no other people do, which is finance for the tool bag. So the TM to go bag, which is this one, um, you can buy it in one go, or you've actually got the chance to spread out the cost out over the year. Uh, you'd have to speak to them directly about the different finances available, uh, but it just helps the people that don't want to turn around and fork out the cost of this bag in one shot or physically can't, but want a nice tool set that they can still add to is you can get it in finance and pay it throughout the months, which is a fantastic way in my eyes. If you want the expensive toolkit, but you haven't got enough for the bank right now, but you've got that money coming every month, and why not? It's, it's a great piece of kit and it also helps you work, helps you work more efficiently and quicker to get more of them jobs in. This is what I found is I'm not spending 35 minutes bringing my tools all together, tidying them in, bringing them out the van. If I know I'm just doing stuff, like I said in the video earlier, I can just take this off, I can just take that off, I can just take this off for what's needed for that job. So yeah, this sort of rounds this video off a little bit. Um, I hope it's not been too boring and it's been a good watch. Um, I'm gonna be putting more stuff out. So I'm gonna do a video on Adam's bag, pull that apart. I'm gonna do a video on the uh, tester bag properly. And then obviously I'll do a full breakdown of tools, whether or not I make it a little mini series and do three tools, the key points, each tool, or we turn around and I just do a video of all of them. So I've got a lot of feedback. People would prefer 15 to 20 minute videos instead of me doing an hour and a half waffling. So I might do some individual little videos of the key tools that I found really useful that I think you would like and make use of. So uh, once again, thanks for tuning in guys. Don't forget the patron and I'll see you soon.